didn't even expect Dynasty to be here right now, and they are crushing. Let's see how they go into this game number three, rolling on all kinds of momentum after that 50-49 victory on Amplified Team Slayer. Hines right away getting up top and getting the Rockets. Gotta love this start. Wait, I just want to know where Final Boss was at. They didn't even shoot at Hines to go in for those Rockets. Final boss, nowhere near the Rockets to start the game, and neither team getting in the hill at the start of this one. Final boss had two down to start the game. Great start, though, by Dynasty, guys. They are all up top, with the exception of Clutch, and they're controlling the power weapons. Yeah, I really like the play right there for Hines. He could have easily tried to shoot a Rocket at Victory Axe, but like we said, Rockets are very useful in this map. It's not worth shooting a random Rocket to just basically get a lucky kill. Nice job helping out the teammate there. Dynasty, great teamwork to start this game off. Final boss looking sluggish here, guys. Yeah, and I'm surprised they weren't in that hill. I mean, Ogre 2's been known for scrappy hill time and scrappy ball time. We've played against it. But he wasn't even close to the hill there, Chris. It was almost as if final boss wasn't even on the map for the beginning 10 seconds of this game. I don't know what they were doing. They kind of got trapped back gold a little bit. But now the, now the game's kind of becoming normal. Well, I'll tell you what, guys, we're about a minute and 10 seconds into the game, and I am not impressed in the least bit by Dynasty's focus here. Where were they when it comes to hill time? Yeah, they had a great, or they did a great job of locking down the top, but they are not worrying about the objective as much as they need to. Yeah, and, that, and by doing that, Final Boss is still actually in this game, even though the first minute and a half has been dominated by Dynasty. You got you got final boss up top finally here. The hill moving in about 20 seconds, but you also have Dynasty in that hill. Destin sitting in there picking up some scrappy time while final boss worries about the top. Nice job by Pistola to pick up a huge kill there in the lobby. But now I'm looking at the screen and all four members from FB are down low. They at least better get this overshield before the hill moves up top. Yeah, and Dynasty's gonna be looking out for that. If we saw it, if we've noticed anything, the overshield can dominate this game type. Ogre 2 waiting for his shield to come back, so the next overshield will be at 11.53. Let's see if Dynasty drops down there early, not knowing when that Obi came back. And let's see how Ogre 2 plays this. Nice job avoiding those grenades. Hit by the second one, and he's taking all kinds of fire from Rocket 2. But that allowed his teammates to come on the flank. You see two guys pushing through open. Fear itself got there in the lobby. Heinz picks up a double kill, though, and keeps Final Boss from taking top control and the spawns in lobby. Yeah, it was a great play right there. They really just melted Ogre 2 when he had that overshield. It's what you, exactly what you need to do. But you know, great job by Final Boss here. Ogre 2 sat top gold, waited for his teammates, and now he waits for them and pushes to the hill. Yeah, and this, is exactly, this is exactly the position Final Boss wants to be in. One of the easiest ways of taking back top control, and especially King of the Hill on Construct, is to come from gold, get a massive amount of people there, and all charge out. Final Boss, one of the smartest teams on the circuit. Their halo knowledge just ridiculous. Watching them at the land, they were just blowing my mind. And having conversations with them, you don't even realize all the intricacies that these guys know. And, you know, they know everything about this game. I was especially impressed, though, by their setups on closed street. I'm looking for them to get a huge chunk of time. They got about 30 seconds on this top open hill. But once that hill moves to closed street in about four minutes, look for final boss to get at least 60 seconds. Yeah, that hill has always been the key to this game type because it's so hard to really attack. On the open street hill, you have the ramp that you can come up and flank from. But on closed street, there's only two ways to get there from gold or the portal. And it looks like Final Boss starting to heat up now. I just saw Fear itself with a killing spree medal. Ogre 2 back in that hill. Nice setup here by Victor X sitting on Rocket 1. And you got Pistol patrolling the close street. He's going to go down low. But remember, that overshield doesn't pop until 53. And Final Boss gains the lead using that top hill. The hill moves down low. The overshield coming up right now. No one even in position for it. Looks like Hines may have just burned it, actually. And as the action slows down, as the hill moves down low, guys, who do you want to listen in with, Final Boss or Dynasty? Remember, Dynasty is just one game away from advancing to our winner's bracket finals, where they will be facing off against Triggers Down, not Instinct. I, I'm going to go with Final Boss just because I really think they have the ability to come back in this series. All right, final bosses is. They are down by about 14 seconds. Chris is shaking his head. He agrees. Let's crank up our Astros as we listen in. Nice sweet go to. It's one big goal, man. That sword, that sword. C2, you know, I got him. I'm dead, though. And, uh, o2, o2, o2. That sword, that sword. Yeah, I know. Hines, watch on hill. 
Absolutely hell. You got blanks, man. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. Sitting back. Sitting close side. I know I'm an open though. Push it over street. I'm pushing over street. Close one hit. He's one hit still. Open street. Open street. Right now. Two two. Two two. Tap close getting. Guy lost one. Push out our one. Up close, up close. Losers. It's fine. Pass sniper. Pass sniper somewhere. Close three, close three. Snipe's down. Close one. Get up top. Get up top. This guy close. Purple. I'm up open. Where's he on? Close purple. To where? To where? He's outside. Close street. Close street. Close street. Fear. Weak. Good shot. Good shot. One 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 Chris are having an in-depth, silent conversation over here. What were you pointing at? Well, I basically looked at Chris and I said, Chris, what is Dynasty doing right right now? I see Final Boss's screen, I'm watching them, and they're just getting trapped. And it's literally what's going on on Dynasty's screen. What they're doing, they're pushing Final Boss into almost one position, then as a team, swarming that position and getting all of them dead. Well, now you'll notice that there's about 26 seconds left on this top hill. Final Boss retaking the lead just about now, and they have incredible top control once they set up on that close hill. Ogre 2 is watching the close purple. Victor X getting that huge chunk of time, and Pistola patrolling back gold here as Final Boss takes about a nine-second lead. I think Dynasty's done a great job, though, limiting Seven. Final Boss's chance of dominating that top hill. They've consistently come from behind, just kind of knocked him out of the hill, not allowed them to get a full dominant setup up there. So here we go with the 13 second lead here for final boss. The hill moves down low, but Victor X just picked up the Rockets and Fear itself has the sniper down low in the hill. Yeah, with those Rockets being delayed that they are, it's very important that the coaches take note of what